Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now, guys, I've got something amazing for you today. And before I say anything else, if you haven't seen the videos that I put on the past couple of days of these two amazing, stunning beauties, please do check them out, guys. Links up above. Um, I have my like, two epithelium um, GG Castanengo, which is the white one and the Mrs. G Bean, which is a beautiful pink one, in Magnificent Flower. And I've done individual videos for both of them, so please do check them out. And also a video with both of them in. And my incredible fiancé, Hans, who is filming me at the moment, <laughs> is, um, he has done an incredible slideshow of these stunning flowers from when they were in the bud stage to what they look like fully open. So please do check his video out, guys. Hans is an absolutely incredible photographer, as well as an amazing musician and actor. He's good at everything, so I'm very lucky. And to share the love of my life, with the, our plants and all our passion for that is just incredible guys so this is wonderful and what we're going to be doing because the remarkable thing about these two plants is that not only are they flowering on the same day which is difficult to get plants exactly the same day they actually open their buds at exactly and I mean exactly the same time guys because we have been monitor monitoring the buds getting from this 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 stage to how they are now and last night we were, we looked at it and I went oh my god they both opened exactly like this at exactly the same time so they're both different plants and obviously we believe these two guys want to have sex with each other and create seeds. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be cross-pollinating both of these, the white one, um, the Castanengo one, with the Mrs. G being the pink one, and going back and forth to both, and fingers crossed that the pollination will be a success, and we produce seed. And if we do, then that's going to be a creation that um, me and Hans have done between us, our own new little epiphilium hybrid. So um, it's going to be fantastic and obviously we're not going to know what colour the flower is going to be until possibly four years or so when the plant's big enough to flower but fingers crossed we get seed and this is going to be a bit of an experiment to see how the, the pollination does. So um, links up above to see the amazing slideshow video Hans has done of these beauties and if you're not familiar with epiphyllum cacti also check the link up on how to care for epiphyllums. They're very different to the desert type of cacti in their growing conditions. And I made a video there to help you out if you're not familiar with growing these. And um, let's get going then, guys. Now, when it comes to pollinating cacti, some, it's some cacti are many, many, many different species and succulents. So some will be self-fertile, which means you don't have to do anything or you can just help it along sometimes with a little brush and it will pollinate itself. Just the action of opening and closing the flowers can create that, or any little bee or fly landing on it. A lot of them have to be cross-pollinated. In the case of epithelium, some are both self-fertile, some are, uh, have to be crossed with another one. So it's difficult to know because there are so many hybrids. But in this case, we're going to be cross-pollinating these beauties. And I've done a few different pollination videos in the past, so if you're not familiar, I'll put a link to a playlist um, up above to... Uh, pollinating cactus flowers and growing from seed. There's many different types and many different ways. Um, epithelium's are really easy to get to um, pollinate because they have massive, massive big stigmas. So you can really see them. And also the pollen is just abundant inside. It's like a whole universe going on there, guys. It is gorgeous. And before I say anything else, I want to give a, a special thank you to my friend or our friend Shane, who lives in Killarney, Shane Walsh. Hi Shane, thank you and thanks Amelia for these incredible cuttings of both of these plants because you gifted me a couple of, couple of years ago now and this is the first time they're flowering for us so I cannot thank you enough. So thank you Shane, um, first of all before I do anything else and then let's get to pollinating them. Now obviously they, we've got a pale pink one here and a white one so guessing the colour could come out probably very very pale pink but um, like you say, you can never tell when it comes to cross-pollinating. Now, as I say, I'm going to be loading up all the pollen on here. And it's a good idea to have a plate because the pollen can often go everywhere. And if it goes onto the plate, just go like that again and go back on. As I say, I'm going to cross-pollinate these. 
and all you need to do is get a clean brush that obviously hasn't been used before and load up like so and um, look at that absolutely and you see the pollen is absolutely all falling 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 anyway all over there good I've got the plate so you load the brush up almost look like it's covered in paint with the pollen bring it then down to the other flower where the stigma is the big big stigma and I say epiphyllums are easy because they, they're like spiders the stigma right right in the middle of the stigma you just brush it on very very easy to do and then you do the same with the other one load up all of the wonderful delicious pollen all on the brush tons and you can even load the brush up or in this case wait till the pollen falls all onto the plate there's loads go like that load the brush and then back onto the stigma again like so and then you just keep doing it over and over again. As you say, they're both being crossed with each other, so it doesn't matter in switching over the brush as such, like you would if you wanted to. Uh, and there. And so if you wanted to do other ones and you wanted to keep the colours a certain way, I'd always recommend changing the brush if you wanted to then use other ones. But there you go, that's all you have to do. That is so easy. Now, we're going to keep our fingers crossed because obviously only time will tell if the pollination is a success, eventually the flower will close and if it drops off then that's it. But usually it will close and a, a little pod will start to form over the coming days and weeks. So it's all going to be exciting stuff. <laughs> so um, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of flower power from Ireland. And um, me and Hans will see you again. And, uh, Tons and tons of love from us both and uh, see you soon guys!